one thing about these fabric pots that make them so useful is they last a long time. And number two is they have air pruning, which means they don't get root bound. I don't know if you've ever taken a plant out of a plastic pot and the roots are just wrapped around on the inside of the container pot. These do air pruning, which means it's so dry around the edges that the roots actually die and they don't try to wrap around the outside. So the very ends of these roots all go up and down, you know, the very, like a, my finger pointing on that, that's a root from the inside. And as soon as it touches the side, it dies and then it makes more roots going this way. So this is in a 30 gallon pot right now. And this is what I put it in from the very beginning once I got it home from the store. And it's actually outgrown this 30 gallon pot. I could probably keep it alive in here for two or three more years. But I plan to move to a 100 gallon pot. And that's a little different because these ones you can actually lift up one side and see how moist they are by the weight. Once you get a 100 gallon pot, you're going to know how to take care of the blueberries because you've had them for five or six years and you're going to know how much water they need. But it might be beneficial to get some kind of water moisture meter to check your pots. So you start with pine bark nuggets at the very bottom. Then you put in a mixture 50-50 peat moss and pine bark mulch all shredded up and you can add some perlite maybe 10% perlite and maybe 10% vermiculite here we have a pink lemonade which is actually a rabbit eye blueberry which means it needs to be grown anywhere from zone 6 down. I'm in zone 6B. So we have this pink lemonade, which has been grown very fast because I put it in a 50 gallon pot to start. It just took off like crazy. Here we have the pink icing. And it's everything I have is in a fabric pot. And they're inexpensive. They last a long time. They do grow uh, mold, not mold, but moss. If you look down here, I've got moss on all my trees around here. So it grows everywhere. And this is a perfect place for it to grow. But it doesn't hurt anything. The moss has been growing on these for since I put them in there five, six years ago, seven so don't worry about the moss. Once these blueberries lose their leaves and go through a cold spell, then it's time to repot. You never want to try to repot when we have greenery. And today it's actually going to be 105 with the heat index. 96 actual temperature. So I'm watering every day now. If it gets cooler, you can water every two to three days. But during August, it's August 1st, 2024, you got to water every day. A lot. And I'm getting all my fabric pots on Amazon. I'm going to dig those out and actually show you how to mix everything. The potting mix and the, the uh, pine bark mulch and nuggets. And another video soon. I didn't add any vermiculite or perlite to mine. I just used pine bark mulch and peat moss all mixed up 50 50. And the pH, I never even had to check it. And another thing, you can't just use regular fertilizer. 
you have to use fertilizer made for azaleas or blueberries because it's going to have that pH of 4 to 5.5.